This brand and this fragrance right here, in 2018, I finally got my nose on the House of Malinar and their fragrance called Fig. And it is underground, hush, hush. No one's talking about this stuff. And everybody should be talking about this stuff. Let's go. <laughs> What's going on YouTube fragrance family? Welcome to another first impression on my channel today. It is from Molinar. This is a brand, I'm gonna repeat it, Molinar. You should be hearing about this brand, Molinar. <laughs> you should be hearing about this brand more and more on YouTube. If not from my brothers and sisters in the community, you are gonna hear it from me a little bit more. This is their fragrance called Fig. You guys know I'm a huge fig guy. I love fig-based fragrances, and uh, this comes cheap. Um, this is niche quality, a niche look to it, and it really is at a great price. So this is one of those first impressions reviews that I can't wait to throw out in the YouTube spectrum and see if it sticks. <laughs> um, so first and foremost, before I get into it, I want to thank my partner, FragranceX.com, for uh, Fig from Malinar. Uh, you can utilize my code ROBES08 and get 15% off on this particular fragrance and anything from Malinar on their website. And these Malinars are cheap, like Canadian, I paid like 60 bucks. And for me, this, this smells like a $100 or more type of fragrance. It really is. So uh, I, I can't wait. Let's, let's get into it. So today, it is my scent of the day. I'm living with it right now. I am wearing it. So let's spray on my back of my hand here and remind me of this introduction. Um, and uh, what a beautiful scent. Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's, it's summer right now, it's hot, and Fig is so good in the heat, and this fragrance has that watery aspect from Fig that I love. So let's get into it, and the opening of Fig is watery, it's green uh, Fig with some citruses. Um, I love the use of citruses and Fig. Kind of reminds me of this Premier Figuier uh, from L'Artisan Parfumeur. Um, Aqua di Parma's fig. It has that type of quality. Um, you know, these these not higher echelon niche brands, but more of these uh, middle tier uh, niche brands and their figs. Really great stuff. I'm um, very transparent, watery with a, a great lemon note as the citrus. It throws off a little bit of that coconut vibe from fig that you would get in some figs, um, but it's not showing me like a, a tropical vibe at all, uh, but it, it gives you that uplifting kind of coconut vibe. Very, very nice. From first sniff, this fragrance is well balanced, well uh, blended, and the fig is front and center, which this is what you want from a fragrance that's called Fig. <laughs> um, the secondary notes, they know their place in this fragrance, they know their placement, and that's why it's it's so well balanced. I mean, it really um, invigorates the whole fig. It throws it up there. Um, Something I did miss in my unboxing video of this fragrance is the black currant buds in this particular fragrance in this introduction, which uh, the black currant really reminds me. I don't know if it's there. No, it's not. It's getting reviewed, so it's upstairs. But um, Pulp from Byredo, it really reminds me. Anybody that owns this and Pulp, um, it will remind you of that. Not the daring notes in, in Pulp, but it does remind me of that black currant buds in the introduction of this fragrance. So it makes it very interesting. Um, this fragrance, of course, it uses fig and citruses, um, and it makes it transparent and very nice, but the fruitiness of the, the black currant buds uh, really makes it an interesting, a little more playful as a scent. Now the dry down of this one shows more of the same, <laughs> which is a good thing. Um, the fig still throws itself, but the black currant comes up quite a bit, and that's welcomed by me. I really do love the fruitiness of this. There's a pinch of florals in um, this dry down with a musky backbone, so there's not much to it, and that's exactly what you want from a summer scent. You don't want too much of a backbone. There's a soft woody tinge here at the end of the scent, and it kind of gives it a little bit of complexity, but not too much, and that's exactly what you want. You want something straightforward, easy, but pleasant at the same time. So there's not much change to this fragrance. However, it's very welcomed. This introduction just punches. Uh, the dry down, a little less, but still very, very good. And I know a lot of men out there are gonna be like, oh, florals, uh, is this a woman's scent? No. Um, if you have some experience with figs, you kind of know a tippy toes in that unisex uh, genre. So this is one of those that's right in there. Overall, fig from Malinard, 
She's so good that I want some more from Malinar, and I am eyeballing their leather-based fragrance that's simply called Cuir. Same type of bottle, purple bottle. Um, they got a whole bunch of these, and this was so good. Um, I was actually eyeballing the leather first, but since it was spring and summer, I decided to go with the fig and see. If you can do a good fig, you're probably gonna do a good leather, which means maybe a lot of your other scents are very good. Um, so this is a excellent first purchase from a brand that I finally got my nose on this year. Um, so Cuiro's next. Leather is next for me uh, from the brand of Malinar. And as always, thank you for tuning in. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below if you have smelt this brand and this particular fragrance. I'd love to hear your take, good or bad. Um, I think the price is outstanding for what I'm getting in this bottle. Um, it's designer pricing for a fragrance that is high up there. Um, all but good things right now for my first impression on skin. And I'm putting quite a dent in this bottle, even though some of it is testing. I'm testing this and I'm loving it. I'm just swimming in it and absolutely. And it's one of those fragrances that you are going to spray more than usual. Um, I spray like six, maybe even eight sprays of this stuff. I mean, it doesn't project too much. Um, now I'm getting into a review, so I'm gonna stop, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, please comment below. And if you uh, know a lot about this brand, you know, you own several of the brand or whatnot, or you've tested a bunch, comment below and let me know. Uh, leather's gonna be my next one, Cuir. No, you're not gonna sway me from not buying Cuir, but I may be looking for other ones. They have like a vanilla, they got a patchouli one, they got a vanilla one, they got a fruity vanilla one or something like that. So yeah, comment below on that. And thank you again for supporting the channel. And I'll see you on the next one.